everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Lauren and this is Lauren's Library. Um, today I wanted to film like this fun video. Um, in my head, this video is kind of like an ASMR video where you can hear like the books going on the shelves, me flipping through the books. But I don't, I'm not there yet. I don't have a detached uh, microphone in order to film that. But maybe one day. So in today's video, what I'm going to do is um, I have a huge stack of books. I wish I could show you. I'll probably get like a quick little photo. I have a ton of books that I've collected over the, these last couple of months, maybe. Yeah, these last couple of months that need to be put up on my shelves. And so in this video, you're just going to watch me have and um, have a little fun stocking my shelves, as you can say. Um, yeah, so yeah. That's all. <laughs> I don't know if this video is even going to get uploaded because what video is this? But I just thought it would be fun because I love stocking my bookshelves. So I thought I would just have fun and film it. All right. Come along. from my bookshelf in order to fit all these new books and I just wanted to go over them with you because I don't know what this video is gonna be but first we have the Hunger Games and it's not 
I'm, it's not going in. It's not because I don't like it anymore or anything. I was thinking recently that I wanted to purchase, purchase um, a hardcover set of The Hunger Games because this is the only book I have and it's not even my copy. This is my dad's copy. The copy I read was a library copy. But yeah, I may want to get, I'm looking into it. I'm not, I haven't decided, but it's, there's no reason to have just this one random paperback copy on my shelf. So that's why I moved that out of the way. And next I have Watching You by Lisa Jewell. Um, I don't know. There's, I have a hard time keeping um, thrillers on my shelves because I haven't read like an amazing out of this world thriller where I want to keep it on my shelves. And once I'm finished reading like the reveals and everything, there's nothing, there's no reason for me to like want to reread it or anything if it wasn't spectacular. Um, so yeah, that's why I'm gonna, I don't know if I'm unhauled. Yeah, I'm probably gonna unhaul it. Yeah, she's probably getting unhauled. And this one, I don't know. The Daughter of Henri, I read this a long time ago, a long time ago. And I felt so so about it um, on the lower scale, probably so so. I think I gave it like two and a half stars, three stars. Um, but I have a hard time getting rid of it because this cover is just so beautiful. But I think I'm, what I'm going to do is um, just keep it in my closet until <laughs> I have more space. Because I just love this cover so much. Um, next, I have the Children of Blood and Bone and the Children of Virtue and Vengeance by Tomi Adeyemi. Um, I read this the year it came out when it was super duper popular. And then it took a long time for the second book to come out. And I think that's why I just have no interest of reading the second book. And then I think there's supposed to be a third book that hasn't come out yet. I don't know. There's a lot going on that I feel like I don't even want to get into. Like every time I look to see if there's an update. Um, so yeah, that's why these are coming off my shelves. And the last book I have is this, this Monstrous Thing by Mackenzie Lee. Um, I just saw it on the shelf while I was rearranging, trying to make space, and I just, it's just something I'm not interested in reading anymore, so this is why, this is going away, but those are all the books I had to move around on my shelf and to find space for the newcomers to come on and find their place on my shelves, so I don't know what this video is going to turn out to be, but if you enjoyed it, make sure you like, um, comment down below anything that stood out to you, um, subscribe and i hope you have a good rest of your day or evening whenever you're watching this video thanks for watching bye bye